Hello! A little late to the party, but it is finally Thirsty Thursday. Time for the Jamies to taste some wine and talk all about our favorite clean crafted wine. Um, so, my girl Jamie, she lives in Michigan from Motherhood Balance. God, I'm so tired of Motherhood in Balance. So, she's going to hop on and we're going to... Um, hey, Gretchen! Um, we're going to taste um, some of our favorite wines. So, um, I am going to taste the Field House white wine, and I think she is going to taste the Conte de la Terre Cab. I think that's what we're doing today. So, um, hopefully, she will get there. She is. Hey, oh, um, so we can chat, and um, there we go talk about all the things because it has been a day. I don't know about you guys. Hey. Hey. Sorry. I was trying to find the feed. Happy Thursday. Hey, Ashley. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the delay. It has been madness over here. <laughs> it's all right. First day back to school, right? Yeah, so it was like staff days, but it's it's almost worse because you're just like in meetings and like trying to figure out life. Um, cheers, girlfriend. Um, oh, God, you know, so yeah, it's just yep. going to be a rough few days trying to get situated. So oh, yeah. thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness for little helpers around yeah. the world. So. Uh, I, I told everyone because it took a little bit for us to connect, but you're doing the Conte de la Care. Yes, uh, Cabernet. I already poured mine just to get it swirling, and I decide to be fancy today Ooh. my actual stemware. hey -o. Yes. I was really fancy and made sure to grab a screw top. So <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, that is convenient yeah. <laughs> and not wasteful. When I was going to do a cab like you, but then I, it is so, I don't know how the weather is in Michigan, but it is so hot here. Like it's going to be, and I live by the beach, so we don't have air. So it's just okay. the ocean breeze. So when it gets hot, it's like, yeah. and so it is hot. So I was like, we're going to do a little white wine. <laughs> Help with that. It's, it's pretty warm today. Um, I'm trying to think, I think it was in the upper eighties, low nineties, maybe. Oh, but warm. I I could almost do red any time unless it's like I'm uh, not getting like any reprieve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from I the do. heat. I actually like to do, I, and it's weird. Not that many people will probably like this, but I actually like dropping a little ice cube in my red wine at times. I've heard of people doing that. I have never done it before, yeah. but I mostly or like, I'm like, what if it like reduces the flavor and it like yeah. makes it watered down? Yeah, that's true. But, or also, I don't know, do you have a little wine fridge? No. Okay. So get I, one. So I have a wine fridge, so I keep my reds in there, so then it kind of chills them. Um, yeah, it is good, right? Putting a little ice cube, it just gives it a little chill. <laughs> oh. The hubby um, is off to the side, and he was shaking his head that we do not need a wine fridge. <laughs> You're like, we do. We do. <laughs> Our storage plan is working uh, it's, for the time it, being. It's funny. We bought ours, like, right when we got married. and Or maybe it was even before when we were engaged. Actually, no, maybe my husband had one. Or we got one when we were dating or something. Yep. Oh, yeah, totally. Only in the heat. And, but so, um, so we've had one for a long time. And so now, but it kind of gives your reds, like, a little bit of a, you know, chill to it. And then I'll take it out and let it kind of rest a little bit. But... It's I like, could probably put it in really? like, just the regular fridge too, right? Yeah, you could. But I think a wine fridge, like it keeps it a little Does bit. Does it have a different setting? I think so. I think so. Um, so it's not as maybe cold, but um, yep. it's pretty and handy. I went through and um, I was like, oh, this wine is no longer clean. Yeah. For that, I'm going to pop one of my good ones in. <laughs> Like, let's do this. I think that that's smart. And I really love um, that you're doing the field house white because I think for a white blend, that's it's delicious, right? Yeah, I know. You've so, had it before, right? 
I've had it once before, so I'm stoked to have it again. So you can see that you are four S's. Yes. Here, you do yours. Okay, so you see it's mine. kind of like a pale yellow, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, and then you want to swirl it around. <laughs> All right, Annie, have fun with Daddy. You're like, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mommy. Goodbye, sweetie. Love you. Oh, man. So we swirl it, and then I'm going to smell it. What's uh, it smell like? I don't know what it smells like, but it smells good. <laughs> it smells refreshing. I'm not I'm not good at, like, you know, some people are really good at, like, ooh, it smells like pear. I'm like, I don't know. It smells good, though. <laughs> Mine's very fruit forward, too. I... I can tell that it's like a berry, mm. but my nose can't like decipher the, yeah, the types it's of berry. Good. I like it. I, yeah, like I said, I'm not a big white wine drinker, but I think because this one has, it's like maybe a little teeny bit sweet, like not mm -hmm. sweet, like not like a weird sweetness wine. Because right. I mean, like like what is that called? Uh, not like port. Right. A little bit of a. So it's probably fruity. Yeah. Does it taste? But it's smooth, yeah. Really smooth. I've realized that I like, so I'm, I wish I knew. Is it more creamy or crisp? I think it's crisp. Definitely crisp. Yeah, it's very crisp, like kind of very light, easy to, it's like very drinkable. It's like a nice blend. Uh, I've had it once before too, and I just remember thinking like it was super easy to drink. It would, Felt like it could go with anything. It just felt very, um, very good, especially with summer. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we're going to have, um, I think we're going to get some sushi tonight. And I was like, ooh, the ooh. Wine, a little fish. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Sounds delish. So mine is really dark in color. I can't see any light through it. <laughs> mm -mm. The Pinots, you definitely can see light through, but the cabs are more bold. Very so. Um, so I was checking the tasting card on this um, before we started. And this is one of the higher residual sugar um, wines that I've had before, which I think kind of adds to that fruit forward um, mm, like yeah. sweetness aspect. So for people who like sweet reds, um, this Comte de la Terre Cabernet is just over two grams a liter. Hmm. It's a good, it's a good one. I've had that before. Really good. Yeah. It's, it's earthy bold. and bold, but very fruit forward too. So I do think that that's um, always kind of interesting. I love looking at our website to see the residual sugar content because that's not information that's on labels, but it's information that like our website gives, which I think is you know, really special that we get to offer our, our customers and our clients that yeah, exactly. they can feel trusted that it's low sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Or, no. Well, and it's only um, sugar from the grapes. Like there's no added sugar. So yes. Yeah. So that's always a good thing. Cause who likes added sugar? I mean, Not don't me. I do <laughs> things with added sugar here and there, but <laughs> not all the time. Right. We try like, but in moderate. <laughs> no, I know. I'm the same. Like, I was actually just talking with a, a friend earlier today about um, the GAPS diet that we had, you know, both done years before and how it really helped us. And one of the things with that diet is um, eliminating, um, was it, um, like, processed foods and um, added sugars and things like that. And I was just like... It really does make a difference to your body and the way um, it responds to things. So. Yeah. GAPS, what is the acronym? Gut and Psychology Syndrome. Mm, okay. So well, it's, it's the food connection through your gut to the mm -hmm. rest of your body. Totally. Well, and I am like 100% believer that your gut controls your brain. Like 100%. Yes. I mean, it, that is like books upon books and research, etc. I mean, there's so much on all of that. It's amazing, you know? So I'm a firm. Yes. Believer. Like, and if you that, you will heal your mind. 
totally share with me stuff later too because I would love to get some other books on it like I love the gaps book itself mm -hmm. but just like it's really fascinating to me that um just that whole body connection of like everything is connected I right. know this is not our topic of conversation <laughs> today but topic of conversation it's enjoyable you know hey yeah. we, we go with the flow you know we go with the flow I like that I like that about that you know Exactly. Kids scream in the background. It's all good. All good. So, I uh, know I really like, um, have you followed Dr. Hyman? Do you follow him? It sounds familiar. I think I've seen some of his stuff, but I can't recall seeing him in my feed recently. Did you see something particular? Hey. Um, no, it's just, I, I like his philosophy on just like eating, like, the way you heal, um, hey, the hey, way thanks for joining. You, yeah, the way you heal um, your body is just by like the food that you're putting in it. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. and a lot of his philosophies I like align with. I mean, if like you know, talking like sugar, you know, like how sugar is just like the the devil, basically. You know what I mean? Like it, it's like I mean, you read things about how. Um, like you read things like it's just as addictive as, as, uh, like cocaine, which is like crazy, right. but I believe it because when I have yeah. more of it, I'm like craving it and you know, yeah. you want it. But when I eat less of it, like I always feel better. And then, um, you know, you don't crave it as much, but you, you go through withdrawals. Yeah. You have to get through that. Yeah. You have to get through that. But then also to, um, it messes with your taste buds. So your taste buds are looking for that higher fix of sugar. And it, it just tends to go into a spiral effect of, you know, a lot of times then you also tend to get um, uh, different bad for you fats or more salt or, you know, different things where it starts to, um, you know, really kind of steamroll some right. unfortunate eating habits. Yeah. I mean, at least I feel like if I do eat a lot of sugars, like, I mean, I don't think I eat a lot, but if I like want something, like I always feel like I try to pick like at least a clean, you know, so like, again, like wine, like some people right. like, Oh, it's wine. That's alcohol. But it's like, at least I'm picking a cleaner wine. Yeah. And what low sugar so it's like you know when I want to like chocolate it's like I try to pick the the dark chocolate with like high cacao you know so mm -hmm. you're kind of getting the nutrients from it as well as from like the fact that it's like a treat you know what I mean right. so like I just bought these dark chocolate almond butter cups from Trader Joe's yes I saw good. Really good. I had one yesterday and I'm like maybe I'll have the other one <laughs> so, is it a two pack what's that is it a two pack? Yeah, it's like it's normal. It's like how Reese's are, you know. But okay. it's like, I feel better about eating this than I do that. You know what I yeah. mean? So, um, but I try not to buy that all the time. But every now and then, you know, you gotta. Oh yeah. You gotta treat yourself. Well, and that's the thing too. Like with anything in life, you know, having things in moderation isn't the problem. It's when it starts to swing into any yeah. direction. Right, and like with anything, yeah, exactly, yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Do you yeah. want to um, share a little bit more about your first day or no? Sure. Yeah, it was. Ugh. Well, I've been up like I'm like so beyond tired because the last three nights I've stayed up till one thirty, which is okay. ridiculous. Like I, I do not recommend that for anybody. So I, like, yes, like, so the first day I did it, it was like, ooh, brutal. Okay. And then yesterday it was like, I'm surviving. And today it's like, I feel like I'm in that. <laughs> I'm just kind of here, like, spinning. Right. I feel like my, like, adrenaline is kicked in because sure. I'm really tired. So my body is like, let's produce a lot of adrenaline to keep yeah. you going. And so I'm probably going to crash. But I. <laughs> <laughs> need to stay, I need to stay up tonight and get a lot done because I just, there's just so much to do. So oh, I'm hard. like, okay, what I got to figure out the balance of like, do I just do a little bit, go to bed early, feel right. better tomorrow and try and just pace out. You know, I don't know, but I just, it's like every minute I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to do that. And like, so I need, I'm like making a list. So that's helping. 
But yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, did you find a planner? No, I have not found a planner yet that I like. So I'm just using a notebook paper right now. But um, but yeah, I definitely feel like it's like, hey, everything is like, <laughs> do you watch The Office? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like, like Dwight, you're entering the no spin zone, <laughs> even though I'm in the spin zone. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> like, everything's just spinning and everything is like, I'm trying not to let it spiral out of control. It's just a hey, lot. Lena. You know? Oh, it's so hard. But, like, that balance of there's so much to do, there's only so much time, you know, something gets sacrificed, yeah. but you can't sacrifice certain things. You right. still have to work. You still have to be a wife and a parent <laughs> and a housekeeper and, like. Yeah, like, I, my husband, I was like, I feel like I have five hats. I'm like. I'm a teacher, I'm a mom, I'm a manager of a house, I'm also running a side gig, which again is, you know, people could argue, you don't have to do that. But this is like my, this is like the fun thing. That's like the one yeah. thing I really want to do. And I do like teaching, but it's not fun right now at this point in time. Yeah. And then I've got our food allergy program, you know, so it's like, there's just, right. a, and, and like for you, you know, you, you're dealing with your, you know, issues too with kids. So it's like, yeah. and any mom is dealing with that, but it's like, you know, oh, so yeah. you're mom you're house manager you're working you got this you got that and it's like how like i'm like oh gosh i gotta make this tomorrow i gotta do this gotta, you know and it's like so yeah. i need this i gotta cross it off i gotta check yeah. it but it's just when you have x like once i get into the flow it'll yes. be better but it's like right now i'm in that i need to set everything up right before, before I, that flow can even happen yeah <laughs> you know it's just like oh my god so i mean but yeah, it is def definitely going to be an adjustment for everyone involved. And, you know, like I said, you know, we got this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, you know, at least shout out a way to just kind of relax. Hey, and Megan. Take a break. Because, yeah, I mean, like this, like it's like technically I'm like, oh, my gosh, I, I really shouldn't do this. I should be doing that. And it's like, no, you need to have a little downtime. Take yes. care of you. You yep. know, what's that line from? It's from a movie. Which one? Take care of you. What is that? Oh, God. You. All I can think of is Parks and Rec the treat yourself. Yeah. But that's different. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, it's Pretty Woman. <laughs> Have you ever seen Pretty Woman? Yes. Oh, it's gosh, like, years Kit, ago. You know, Kit, like her little friend. Oh, She's yes. always like, take care of you. Take care of you. Like, that's her, <laughs> like, that's her phrase. I was like, wait, I know that. What is that? I know this. I know this. So close. So you I'm got not ready to care. sing the, uh, the Treat Yourself 2007. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Treat Yourself. That whole episode is <laughs> him and Donna, like, it's just so good. Like, I like that they kind of kept carrying that along. And the um, uh, the donkey, what was it? Um, oh, a uh, little Sebastian. Little Sebastian. <laughs> yes. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. It's so See, this is what we need after a hard day. We need some laugh. <laughs> I know. I think I'm gonna watch it tonight while I'm working. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put it in the background. Be like, yeah. Yes. You know, it's another show that um we like binged all the time was How I Met Your Mother. Oh Did yeah. Did you ever watch that? Oh, so it's so funny. So my husband used to watch How I Met Your Mother and yes. um um oh what's the one with Charlie Sheen? Oh um Two and a Half Men. Yes, yes. Like, I think they were both, like, CBS shows, like, maybe back-to-back. -back. Yes. You, know, you know how you used to have, like, TGIF, and it was, like, Full House <laughs> and <it> Matters. <laughs> yes. Like, I feel like it was, like, um, you know, Two and a Half Men and then How I Met Your Mother. So he would – he always watched both of those. And then I love it. another time we'll talk about how I was proposed with one of those shows, which is kind no! of oh, – Not on the show, but, like, what my husband – Right, right. But it involved that show, Two and a Half Men. But point is, I, I don't know the show you're talking about. Not as well as I would know. Like, if you quoted something from Friends or The Office, Parks, yes. no. But I know the show. I That was the show that we binged a lot. And only um, one of the things that I've 
was just going to say that I loved about it was how they would have like different little things that you would be like, oh my gosh, they had that tie and connection over yeah. here. And then they like tied something else over there. Yeah. And I always loved when like shows would weave things together and it just made it feel like you were part of a, like an inside secret, you know, you were yeah. part of something special. Yeah, totally. Um, gosh, there was just something else I was thinking of a second ago, but I lost it. Ugh, I'm in the, the, spin, the, spin, zone. Zone. the spin zone. Hey, I'm impressed you're on here. It's been, uh, it's been a little bit of a day over here. Not too bad, but just, it's, uh, it just feels like happy all of a sudden. Like yeah. The idea of school and everything. So I'm really just, we were talking about it. Like, I'm really just trying to take it one day at a time. Yeah. This helps. Yeah. Is your, so is your daughter going to be at home doing school? Apparently through the first semester. Wow. This got notified to me yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I will give your district credit that they're like telling you that versus ours is like, right. we're on a day by day uh, watch list. So it's like, you know, I would rather know for the first three months, we're definitely okay. together until like and then if it's better great we'll go back but if it's not we're gonna keep continuing but like maybe it's oh, better yeah you should have a plan that yeah it's not like, like tomorrow it could change and you yeah. have to be ready that exactly. would be hard we're very it's yeah it's okay it'll it'll we'll, be all right uh, it's, it's just um yeah and i feel it, for i feel for everyone right yeah. like everyone is going through something it's yeah. just yeah just trying to figure everything out I um I don't even know I was uh telling another um special needs mama um earlier because when kids turn three they exit out of the like free services through their school district and okay. you have to start paying for services um but jd was admitted into a special preschool program which would have been free through our tax dollars which is great yeah but because of covid we don't know if it's even going to happen so we're trying to figure that out i might have okay why don't you take that at home hey why don't you go take that up there no, I'm just oh. without I feel you friend <laughs> Yeah, uh, we might have both kids at home. Who knows? Yeah, no, I know. It's a lot. So, and our kids are pretty close in age because you have an almost six year old and just turned three. And yes. mine, like, just turned five right. and then turned three like a few months ago. So, we're pretty, okay. we're pretty right there. Very close. I always yeah. like when that's the case because you get it then you ours get are it. almost exactly two and a half years apart and i wanted them close in age together but like does not make it easy <laughs> yeah i, I mean I, yeah. Did these early years yeah I, and i think for the kids who have to do like online learning oh it that... froze on me friend can you see me oh there you are yeah i think Hi. i feel like people who have to do online learning for kids who are like eight to 12 you're in that mm -hmm. like really hard age because they're like you know I feel like my our kids or my daughter at least is so like um hey um it's so like kind of naive to what's going on that it's like we can make it work yeah. as a kindergartner but I yeah. feel like the one we're in like second third fourth fifth that grade is like that's got to be so hard because it's like they yeah. You know, you were so used to this and then trying to balance that, like, versus, and then when you've got the older kids, it's like, well, they're pretty self-sufficient. They can, you know, they can handle it, you know? So, yep. but it's just hard. So, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Liz. Welcome, friend. So, yes, I would agree. So, I recently moved my wine club from a six mix to a six red very mm. happy about that switch because i'm a primarily red drinker and then i can add fall. in some what the fall's coming too which i feel like is more yes. of a i mean some people like i'm not a chardonnay fan i know that that is a white i do not really care for and so sure. i know 
people like that kind of for the fall or in the whatever anytime i'm not a shard fan it's too i don't know i'm just not a shard fan <laughs> yeah get uh, on friend join us <laughs> delish yeah i could totally do um reds all year round but for um i like having the opportunity to fill out so i go through a case of wine a month so I do the six uh, red for the wine club, which bonus you also get volume discounts with yeah. the wine club when you hit that six or 12. Um, and then I do six a la carte so I can pick my faves. I can try new ones out. Now here's a question. Do you order yeah. that all at one time? No, you just order your a la cartes whenever you want. Yes, I keep yeah. an eye on my stock. And then yeah. as soon as it starts to get to a certain level, I'm like, ooh, Time to order, and I go and I shop. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. And I know that my wine club will come, uh, for me, it comes, like, mid to end of every month. So yeah. I always kind of keep that in mind, too. Yeah. What about you? Are you changing it up with uh, <laughs> no, my old COVID and homeschooling? Yeah. Well, it's, I probably, I typically will probably actually drink less while I'm, working just because of course of course that you know <laughs> yeah like I just you know it I don't know it's always weird it's like it's like it's a school night like I don't know I'm just it's so yep. I'm more I will move more to the weekend like probably yep. which I'm kind of like that now but every now and then I'm like yeah I'll have a little glass you know but well, so true. you've always more, been a lighter drinker too yeah I am more of a lighter drinker so it'll probably be more like a you know Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know, um, mm -hmm. so, but yes, yeah, so I'm not changing anything up, but, um, but yeah, I just kind of like, I feel like I've tried all the ones that I've kind of been interested in. So now I'm like, Ooh, what do I want more of? Mm -hmm. But then there are still some that pop up every now and then. And I'm like, Ooh, I want that. You know, I'm excited to try the new tickle bombs, the new sparkling yeah. rose that yeah. came out. Yeah, I actually just ordered that today because I'm. Did you? Yeah, well, so a girlfriend of mine is getting married and we're having a little pre bash for her. And so um, I ordered it. So I'll take it out and um, we'll get to try it. So yeah, it'll be. Yeah. A, I love that. Yeah, I just love the idea of the deep pink. I think that that just makes it so much fun for yeah. um, for celebrating, especially like I'm thinking like, you know, um, uh, like celebrations like bachelorette parties, exactly. you know, um, something fun for uh, other guests to drink at like, you know, it's a girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, gender reveals. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to try it. So, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear about it. I saw that it was going to be released just after I hit order. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> note to self, do that not place your order <laughs> right before the field press comes out. Yeah, I know. Tuesdays are like the bad day to order. <laughs> I, I ordered and then the next day Wilderness Road came out and I'm like, hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm going to get that one too. So I have been loving the Moscow mule recipe oh. um, that came out with it. So I've never had a Moscow mule. And when I was at Target, I saw a ginger beer and I was like, Favorite. I know what I could do with that. <laughs> so well, is add that? the cart. Yes. Oh my gosh. It is so good. And it's yeah. just, it's just easy to enjoy. Yeah. Well, when I get mine, we'll do a little tasty taste on here with a Moscow mule. Yes. I like that. I am almost out of mine, so hopefully I will save it, <laughs> I will save it for, for when you get yours. Or you get another one. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I'm super excited about that. Well, friend, I know it's a school night. I don't want to keep you up here. <laughs> it's all good. It was good chatting. Yes. <laughs> So to oh, all man. of our all other right. uh, mamas, yes, yes, yes. hang in, in there, guys. <laughs> hang in there. Hang in there. All right, we'll chat soon. Sounds good. Bye. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye.